In this video, we are going to focus on inverse proportion. You will find this on page 38 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Inverse or indirect proportion. Inversely proportional, one value decreases at the same rate as the other increases. Okay. So let's look at an example and let's first look at a very basic method of doing it. A library has funds to buy 200 books that cost 150 each. How many books costing 100 each could be bought instead? So what's happening? The price of the books go down. It goes down. So what will happen? You have this specific amount of money so you will be able to buy more books. So the less cost more books in its inverse proportional. Okay, and you can make a table, but I always like to, to just use this formula, and this is actually coming from the hyperbole. So it's x, y equals k. Instead of multiplying over cross, I multiply like this in a horizontal line. So I fill in, so it's 200 books costing 150. So I actually this value of k is the amount of money this library is having. So now, I'm going to substitute K and I'm just basically going to substitute now the cost of the book. So actually I'm just going to take this, divide by this. So 300 books could be bought if the books is costing less. Okay. Um, again, I want you to stop the video. And I want you... So to get this off. Do try now 35 and I want you to do number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, I just want to get the place and then I'm just going to continue. Okay. A supplier delivers a regular quantity of bulk feed to a rabbit farm. The quantity lasts for 14 days when there are 500 rabbits. Okay, how long does the quantity last when the number of rabbits is 420? Now remember, they're going to give the rabbits exactly the same amount of food every day. So if there's less rabbits, the food is going to last longer. So rabbits go down, food, days of food go up in direct proportion. Okay, still I like always to just write what is the two things. They are talking about rabbits. I'm just two bees there. Rabbits, and they talk about days. And again, we can call this X and this Y. So it's rabbits, 500 rabbits, and it's going to lot 14. Okay, so again, if I want to find that, that bulk quantity, I'm going to say X, Y equals K. So taking that 500, multiplying it with the 14 and that will give me the value of k. So I will find that the value of k is 7,000. And then I use this formula again. I put in the 7,000 and I put and now, remember, uh, how long does the quantity last? Uh, when the number of rabbits is 420. So in the place it's 420. Who again? Let's just get it correct. And I divide by 420. And I divide by 420. And the value of y, what will be the value of y? It's 16.67 days. So therefore, uh, how long does the quantity last in the number of run? It will last 16.67 days. So almost seven, 17 days. And now if I have to change to B, how many rabbits can be fed for 20 days? Now remember, use this red again. So it's again I'm, I'm actually don't even have to write this again because I know already the value of k. So, oh, I, th I think I'm not going to write it, otherwise I make you. So I already know 
the value of k because it's exactly the same as that one is 7000 and then I'm just going to do the second part I fill in the 7000 and now I, in this case how many rabbits can be fed for 20 days so there's 20 and I don't know x but I know the days so I divide by 20 and I divide by 20 and 700 divided by 20 what will it be? 350 so therefore how many rabbits can be fed? Um, 350 rabbits okay let's just get that rabbits can be fed for 20 days okay let's go on to the little bit more complicated one so again it's that equation again you can do it on method A but in this case I want to only focus on method 2 in the videos the brightness B of an object varies inversely so it's indirect as the square of the distance of the object from a light so when D is 12 B is 2 find the equation now again you start again by say B the in proportion sign although but because it's indirect you say 1 over d squared in direct you put it on the same line but in indirect you say 1 over and again you put in the value of k you can put it in front or but, but I just want to show you if you have k multiply 1 over d squared put it over 1 and can you see actually what's happening the k is ending on top and then you substitute again that values and then the value of b okay uh, the value of k will be 288 and then take that equation and just put in in the place of k 288 so write the equation and then um, so this is for number a find the value of b when d is 3 so just substitute it there the 3 and it's 32 okay I think the example, no, 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 here is an example. Let's see if we can use that one. Yeah. But again, I want you only to use, um, yeah. Now, I think I'm, I'm going to let you do an example on the next page. Um, let's just make it a bit bigger. I want you to do um, not square do number three stop the video do number three as soon as you are finished you can continue the video and I only want you to do it on method two okay for the video in the teacher's guide you will find method one as well as method two so when a cup of water is poured in a cylinder the depth H of the water is inversely proportional to the square of the base radius R of the cylinder when the radius is free the depth of the water is 24 find the depth when the radius is 6 okay so if I look at this one so let's just quickly we start it's indirect so we're going to say H okay so this is number 3 so uh, depth of the water is inversely but keep the proportional sign inversely you say 1 to the square of the base radius so you're just going to say r square okay so basically you are just going to keep make it the equation by putting a k there and now you're just going to substitute that values so when the radius is free h is 24 k over 9 okay and basically um, you're just going to put it over 1 multiply over cross so k is going to be 9 times 24 and that is going to give you a value of 216 okay so therefore in number a the equation will be h equals 216 over r squared and then for number B, 
let's just go to number B. Um, oh, no, find the depth of when the radius is 6. Okay, this is actually not the A and a B. So if there's not the A and a B, I want to show you this. You basically come to the formula and then use the formula. So, and then we will just say H equals, and, and now in the place of when the radius is 6. So 2, 1, 6, and that's going to be 6 squared. So it's 2, 1, 6 over 36, and that is going to give me a value, so, of 6. So what is the question? Find the depth of when the radius is 6. So therefore, the depth of the um, water is, let's just find when the radius is 6, it's actually the same, do you see, is 6, and I just want to see that the water was in meters. When the radius, you see the depth of um, centimeters. Centimeters. Uh, find the depth when the radius is 6. So it's going to be 6 centimeter. Okay, so the depth of the water is 6 centimeter. And that will be the final answer.